the intrepid folks at SpaceX who really don't know the meaning of quit. Today was one of those days where they basically had a little bit of everything thrown at them. We had weather issues, uh, thunderstorms on the west side that were threatening the area. We had uh, cloud cover. They had a boat in the restricted area. And then, of course, there was a first launch attempt abort that uh, came up as a matter of exceeding certain startup parameters at T minus one second. It doesn't get much more dramatic than that unless you look at the fact that they got into a second launch attempt and off it went. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stage one. Lift off. We have MLS. Lift off of the Falcon 9. Falcon 9 has cleared the towers. Pitch kick. Have plus counts on the countdown net and securing on net A, please. Gravity turn. First stage propulsion is performing nominally. We have telemetry block on both stages and power system cargo. As Falcon 9 ascends into the atmosphere, we're getting a little bit of audio trouble from the launch site. The vehicle is, is quickly approaching its max Q, where, it will, where its increasing speed and the atmospheric density create the maximum resistance to the vehicle's flight. After max Q, the forces acting on the vehicle will decrease dramatically, and the vehicle will continue to gain speed substantially. As the atmosphere thins, the exhaust plume will begin to expand greatly and take on a darker color as the lack of oxygen prevents afterburning of the plume. We're barely three, four minutes since the launch. From what we understand, Falcon 9 not only executed a good staging and a good second stage ignition, but it appears to be in a great slot to make orbit. When we talked to uh, Elon and the folks yesterday, they were talking about a 250 click circular orbit uh, out to the east on the departure here. And from everything we've seen so far, it looks like Falcon 9 number one is off to a really great start. And the state separation is confirmed. MVAC chamber ignition confirmed. And we have a clean stage separation and the second, and second stage ignition. The Merlin vacuum engine has begun lifting the second stage and dragging into orbit. As you saw, there were several stiffening rings on the MVAC e nozzle expansion skirt that fell away as designed. And the team at SpaceX once again has proved that true American ingenuity, true American business can do it. Just give them a goal and step back. For the Aero News Network and for Aero TV, I'm Jim Campbell. Falcon 9 Stage 2 and the Dragon Capsule are now in orbit around the Earth. Aero TV is brought to you by If you own a Cirrus today or if you are considering the purchase of a new or used aircraft, consider this. Avidyne, in conjunction with the country's leading Cirrus sales and maintenance facilities, has launched the G3R9 program that combines the purchase of a late model, low time Cirrus aircraft and the addition of the Avidyne Integra Release 9 avionics suite for much less than you may have thought, and certainly much less than purchasing a brand new aircraft. G3R9, combining the best airframe, best engine, and best avionics for the best value.